Fraud Detection Credit cards payments are part of our daily routine, at the store, online, or using an ATM. It is the responsibility of the credit card companies to prevent fraudulent transactions. But how? The data behind what makes a transaction fraudulent is increasingly complex. It can depend on the location, different transaction type or method, and how long has it been since the previous transaction. But eventually, like any other customer-facing service, the more we know about the customer past behavior patterns, the better. Our data scientist wants to start working with different data sources and create a predictive machine learning model. However, fetching, cleaning, and preparing data from sources like a data warehouse and a CRM could be a challenging and time-wasting task for a data scientist. To solve this problem, we need our data engineer, who will build a pipeline to combine all data sources, prepare and clean them while masking private data. The result will be stored in the cloud, available for internal data consumers. As part of building this data pipeline, we are centralizing our data sets on a cloud storage. Here, we can extract data from our CRM, transform it, and upload it to the cloud. Here, the data is already available for business analysts. The result is that we can apply BI tools easily to do our traditional analytics work against a centralized data lake. Our BI team can gain more insights about our transactions data and customer data. The data is centralized in the cloud and ready for BI. Now, the data engineer will do the last step of preparing data for the data scientist. Here, we run a Databricks job that fetches the transaction data from our data warehouse and joins it to our CRM data. Before we make the data available, we mess credit card numbers and any other fields that might be private. The result is a dataset ready for machine learning in Parquet format on the Databricks storage. Now it's the turn of the data scientist who uses a Databricks Python notebook to try and create a machine learning model to predict if a transaction is fraudulent based on our training set. He can visualize the data build the model, evaluate and inspect the resulted decision tree. A second notebook is designed to run the machine learning model on the test data set and give a score to the model. Here we can see which transactions are labeled fraudulent and how good our model is based on unseen data. The data is cleaned and masked. The fraud prediction model is ready and tested. Of course, our model may not be valid forever, since new transactions happen every day and fraudulent behavior may change over time. The solution here is to use talent to continuously rebuild the predictive model on a regular basis based on the latest data. As part of our pipeline, we will trigger the same notebook and the result will be a new predictive model every time we run the pipeline. Okay, so our data is in the cloud and ready for BI. It's clean and safe. We have a predictive model that can accurately predict if a transaction is fraudulent. This model is also kept up to date with the latest transaction, and this entire pipeline is repeatable. In order to predict if a new transaction is fraudulent, we will use a streaming job that will run on Databricks. It will receive a flow of incoming transaction and pass it to the Databricks predictive model. This last notebook is using our prediction model. It can predict and monitor if transactions are fraudulent or not as they come. Now we are ready with an updated fraud prediction model in streaming. Thank you for watching.